All right, guys, so what I've done, and I actually opened this before I started the camera, so I've kind of emptied the parts here, but we'll go over them very quickly. In the container that you have, you're going to see the following. You're going to, uh, in the package for the frame, you're going to have one Transtech uh, LiPo strap, one Transtech silicone uh, LiPo pad right here. You're going to end up with two 3D printed uh, camera mounts. You're going to have three sets of screws, four each in each. These are 14 millimeter screws. These are eight millimeter screws, and these are six millimeter screws. Okay, so I'm going to set those aside for now. So I'm just going to put them. I'm going to put the 14 here. Let me move those. All right, there we go. I'm going to put the eight in here. I'm going to put the six in this little container right here. Okay. Now the other thing you have is you're going to have four standoffs that are 25 millimeters in length. Uh, in height. Uh, I noticed here I have one that doesn't look like the rest. It's the same length, but they must have accidentally given me like a, it's, I think it's called gun metal. So I have one gun metal and then I have three black. Fine. Either way, you get 25 millimeter standoffs. Uh, you have four arms, okay, that are five millimeters thick. You have your top plate here. And so that you can differentiate top uh, front from back, the wider points on the top plate and with this groove right here, that's the front. That's where your camera will uh, fit. And then this is your bottom plate, all right? And again, the wider points here indicate the front, and then the narrow points here indicate, indicate the back. And so that you can differentiate which side you're mounting the flight controller on, the uh, press nuts that are on here, this is the bottom. So this will actually sit like this, and you will put your flight controller on these. So the flight controller will go on the opposite side of the press nuts, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these for right now and get them off the table, we don't need them. We're going to start by mounting the arms. So let's start, let's take the frame, the base frame itself, and make it sit forward. So this is the back of the drone and this is the front. And we're going to take our first arm. <clears throat> and you, you'll notice here that you don't have four screw, uh, four motor mount screw holes here. You have three. Two of them will face the front. One will face uh, the back here. So we're going to lay this just like that. Okay. And then we're going to take our eight millimeter screw, one of them, and we're going to put it through the first hole here. And it's going to go into this. Uh, uh, press nut area here. So let's just put that on top and you don't want to crank it down and tighten it too hard Just tighten it so that it'll stay. All right, there's one Okay, we're gonna take the second arm lay it on the other side take another eight millimeter screw Place it in the first hole here and screw that into that press nut that's right there Okay, there's two And we'll take the third one now again with this one you're going to have the arm facing the two holes facing the back outside and the one so these are identical you see how the one screw faces the inside two face the outside so we're going to take this third eight millimeter screw put it into the arm here and this time it's going to go into the the hole in the center there towards the press nut so just like that just kind of put that down to hold that in place and we'll take the fourth one here lay that just like that and take the fourth eight millimeter screw if i can get that out Put that right in there like this and kind of semi tighten it down just like that okay now i can still move these but as you can see they're going to kind of lock in place here eventually the way these are cut but this is what it should look like right now and there should be some movement on here because we have to put the rest of the screws in so you want to be able to line up the hole so the next step will be to go ahead and put your standoffs on okay so you're going to take the 14 millimeter screw which is the longest screw that came with your kit and you can start with the back here, and you may want to take these off while you're working, but just to show you how this will assemble, I'm gonna take this gun metal one and put it back here too. So take the long screw there and just finger tighten down the standoffs. So there's one, turn this over, put the screw into the second hole right there. There we go. We'll do the front arms real quick. Okay. You get this lined up. There we go. All right. And then as you can see here, right? If you look at the way this is done, as you can see this will sit just like this, and you have your frame set up and ready to go, okay? So this is how the front plate will go on, and you should be set, and if you look right here, all right, you will see that everything is set up here 
according to just like this drawing is done here. Okay, now the one thing I did tell you was I think I had this turned this way. It's actually this is the front. So what we'll do, this will sit just like that. And this is the front of your drone right there. So um, I think I had it turned the other way by accident. So you'll sit like this way. And what you'll know is you'll be able to differentiate it because where the arms touch, that indicates the front of the drone. And where the arms are separated, this gap right here, this indicates the back of the drone, okay? So your drone should be faced this way. And then if you were to take this top plate, put it on, you would use your six millimeter screws. And, and we're not gonna scroll these on because we don't need the top plate on right now to do the rest of the work. I'm just going to show you, you'll use your six millimeter screws to put that plate on and you'll go all the way around. And that is pretty much it. So that's your frame assembly right now. I'm going to take these and set them aside for the time being. All right. And I'll put this plate, I'll set this over here or I'll set it over here somewhere. Um, and make sure your screws, you keep them organized so those screws will sit right there. And that's pretty much it. So you're ready to go. Again, guys, remember uh, that your front of your frame is going to be where the arms are touching right here. And the back of the frame is going to be right here. You got about a finger's width here. Uh, and that's where you can, if you, depending on how you're mounting this, uh, you would run your, ES, or your um, XT60 out of this side, okay? So that's it for the frame assembly side. Now, that next thing we're going to do is we're going to get ready to um, put on our ESC and set up our ESC. So the frame is actually going to be put aside and we'll grab the ESC and we're going to start prepping that up. So I'll see you guys in just a second.